Hey everybody, it's me, Anna, aka Glitter and Lasers. My voice is still mm, not the greatest, but I could not resist. I could not wait a minute more to get into some of the hauls that I have planned. I just, ugh, I'm behind. Your girl is behind. And today, I'm in a brand new studio space that I'm trying out. We'll see how your girl likes it. And I'm gonna walk you guys through some amazing pieces I found on Amazon. Now, a lot of these pieces are for like holiday glam wear. But there's also a couple pieces in here I bought just because I liked them. Like this one. May all your Christmases be a white. Uh, I love Golden Girls anything. And I legit have found the best retailer of like Golden Girls sweatshirts ever. I have this one on. It's super comfortable. And I also have this amazing pink one. Like I said, I would tell you which golden girl I was and I was waiting for this sweatshirt to come so I could tell you. So I could tell you what golden girl I was. And the golden girl I am is Dorothy in the streets, Blanche in the sheets. Your girl a little bit of a freak and that's okay. But I'm also sassy, streetwise, and gets the job done. These sweatshirts are amazing. They're super comfortable. I fell in love with the seller. Obviously, I own two of them. I believe they go up all the way to a 4X. I ordered them in a 3X and I'm like living my best life. I wear them all the time. In fact, I probably wash this sweatshirt 10 times already. I wear it at least twice a week. I'm obsessed. So could not recommend these sweatshirts in particular, and the seller in particular. I don't remember their name offhand, but I will link to their whole store, and they do have other uh, Golden Girls themed things. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Is my sweatshirt too forward? Now we're gonna get into a couple other items before we get to the fancy schmancy dresses, which is why you're all here, and that's why I'm putting it at the end, because I like to make people wait for the good stuff. Rawr. If you are still looking for an ugly Christmas sweater, this one is from Tipsy Elves. It will get to you super fast. And the best part about it is that it's got a battery pack inside of it. Bloop. And you can flip it on. And this thing lights up. Now, if you watch my TikTok, this is the one where I was like, sofa, sofa Santa, delivering people presents from the comfort of my couch. And that's where I got lit. During the month of like, December and even late November, I just wear holiday clothing. So I have an excessive amount because I just really like being festive. And I love this because I didn't have a light up sweater before. And now I do and it's so fun. And I love that the lights blink. They just don't go on. And they change color because they're LED. Tipsy Alice has a lot of other great sweaters too if you need one last minute. So does another company called Blizzard Bay, which I absolutely love. So I'll link both of those down below so you can check them out because they're pretty solid. Do not, under any circumstances, challenge me to a Christmas off because you will lose my drop. So then I found this company that makes like rave wear. Yeah. And I just saw this, it's called I Heart Raves, like literally straight up rave wear. I found this mesh shirt that has like the most beautiful rainbow stars all over it. And I was like, you know, I don't think I've ever been to a rave, maybe like once in my life when I was like in high school. But I appreciate this if this is what rave wear is, because look how fun that is. Ah, rainbow, rainbow stars. And if I put my hand behind it, you can see it better. It's so cute. This over a little bralette, tucked into a skirt, adorable. It is just mesh, it is foil printed. It feels pretty well constructed. I love it. When the moon is in the second house. Still don't have my singing voice back, but I just feel very like trippy in this. Now, one of the trends that I love the most and feel is the hardest to find in plus size is quality tie-dye. Your girl loves some tie-dye. So I found this t-shirt. I mean, look at this. It's like the tie-dye hoodie, except it's a long sleeve t-shirt and the colors are unstoppable, unbelievable, fantastical, neon. It is basically just a standard like 100% cotton t-shirt you would get at like any wholesaler 
that someone's just died really fantastically. But it's comfortable, it's soft, and it's durable, and that's all I really need. Plus, it takes me back to my sweet, sweet 90 vibes in both neon and tie-dye. So what's a girl not to love about this? It's a solid shout. Shout it out. I love tie-dye. It's the best. What's not to love? It's a great t-shirt. It really is. So then I have this really cute tunic in a green, I believe this is leopard print, but it might be jaguar. I am learning they are different. I know that it is not cheetah. Cheetah sisters, we band together. Um, I've learned that those are actually three different prints and I feel lied to. Cheetah, leopard, jaguar. Look at them, learn them. They're all different. They're, I didn't know that either. I didn't. I didn't know it at all, but I felt, I felt compelled to educate you. So I don't know which one this is, but it's one of them. It's really cute because it's tunic and you can just wear it over leggings and it has a little bit of a drop sleeve. I'm not nuts about drop sleeves. I would prefer it to be like a standard shoulder just because like my arms are big and I hate having a seam on my like larger part of my body because it's less comfortable, but this was still pretty fun. It's a 30% cotton, polyester, and spandex. So yeah, we're all learning today together. I got my cozy sweater on and I'm feeling good. So then we get into the dresses. Now the first dress is not fancy, but I've worn it a couple times now and I feel like it needs a shout and I don't think I've put it in any other haul. If I have, I'm sorry, but I like it enough that I feel like it needs a secondary shout. My name's Anna and my life is a little bit crazy. So this dress is striped from Rachel Roy. It's a sweater material. I thought it was metallic, it is not. It's just got a little bit of like gray into it. It is so dang comfortable. Also, quick shout, put a sweater over it and this makes the most adorable, like slightly short knee length skirt. It is so cute. That's how I've worn it quite a lot. Then you can throw the sweater off if you're hot and bam, 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 you've got a cute little cold shoulder dress. This is by Rachel Roy. It is very, well made. As far as what it's made of, we've got some. Wow, why is it so hard? Girl, girl, I love you, Rachel Roy, but it is too dang hard to find what your dress is made of. Oh, viscosa nylon. Anyway, I love this dress. It is from fall 2017, so it's an oldie but a goodie, but it's still available on Amazon, so check it before it's gone, because this is this is lovely. I, I love this dress. Like, I think it's one of the best, like, elevated basic dresses ever, and it just hugs every curve in a way that I just, I love it. So it's my, I love it dance. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have a little bit of glam. We're gonna take a little bit of pause to get fancy. I'm so fancy, you don't even know I'm in the fast lane from Austin to Northern Austin. So, um, <laughs> she says such like exotic fun places and I'm like, no, I pretty much just go to Austin and like Cedar Park, which is 20 minutes up the road. But anyway, we're gonna get into some sweet, sweet, sweet formal gear. The first is a piece that I've had in my closet for two years, comes in like a bajillion colors, and I think is an essential for a classy lady to own. And that is a faux fur stole. I mean, if you ever wanna talk about investments or summering in Europe, it really just, you get taken so much more seriously with this on. <laughs> Me and Muffy went up to the Alps this weekend and I could only stay for just a little bit, but, um, but yeah, this comes in a whole bunch of colors. I have it in like pink. I think I might also have it in gray. It's soft. It's basically just a blanket. I hold it in photos like this and pretend I have money. It's, it's an illusion really, but hey, life is great. How pretty things coming up, roses! Uh, wow, that sounds terrible when you're hoarse. 
Now we get in to the dress to impress section of this haul. A boop. The first dress is red. Red, red dress has pockets. That's why I really like this dress, because it has pockets. It's from City Chic, available on Amazon. It's off the shoulder, has a little bit of sleeve, which I like. It's a stretch ponty knit, so it's dang comfortable, fit and flare, looks good on everybody. Seriously obsessed. It has pockets. Did I say that? Because I'm saying it again, because if you missed it the first time, the thing that more formal dresses need is a little place for me to put my secrets in the pockets. You see this? You don't get that on most formal dresses. This is a solid shout, and I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. I, I just, I don't even know what else to say. Like, if you don't appreciate pockets and you watch my channel, get out. I don't like you. I'm kidding. I like everyone. Even those of us who don't understand the value of pocket. So, I really do like the feel of this dress, but this little collar is popping up a little. Not like where it's coming off my shoulders, but it's like flipping up like this. I don't know how much that really bothers me. I just wanted to point it out because it's not ideal. Like I, I wish it didn't do that. But I do love the color and I love everything else about the dress. So it's kind of annoying because it's almost perfect. It's literally like so close. Also from City Chic on Amazon is this a gorgeous eyelash dress and it sadly does not have pockets <sighs> so it's okay I'll get over it because look how gorgeous this lace design is on the bust is it weird that I pet the clothing because I'm having a moment here where I just want to touch it it's not that it's soft it just feels kind of cool um, it feels expensive again theme of this haul is bougie I like the little chiffon tearaway skirt. I like that it has volume. I like that when you twirl and spin and dance to celebrate whatever you're celebrating, it's gonna move with you. It is lined, and this is my only little pet peeve about it, is it has this silky little acetate liner that is probably going to stick to you after you sweat the 30 pounds off. You will sweat by dancing, because if you're like me, once you get on that holiday dance floor, you are not getting off for anything until they turn the lights on and tell you, go home but at least you still look cute because you're in this dress. I like that it has a fitted bust up in here as well. It does have some kind of that like stretchy plastic stuff that keeps the dress up to your chest. The straps aren't removable, so that's like an unusual feature to have. The cups are molded as well, so you have nice coverage and support, so you don't necessarily have to wear a bra under this. Really, really pretty dress, really well made, really well thought about, and great length as well. So I love the definition this gives my waist. I think it really likes me in. But I, this ruffle, I don't, I don't understand. Why are you here? The next dress we have is like a little bit of a Jenga puzzle. I get really confused. In fact, the first time I put it on, I did put it on all wrong. Because it's like, you'll see, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's like gathered here and then it's got some cuts here and then this this shoulder goes there and then there's a hole in the I don't it's very confusing on the hanger but on the body oh my gosh this dress on the body it is gorgeous I love and I don't know if you can see it very well but it's this navy with like a sheen to it that is just so pretty when you get it in the light it just sparkles and shines this is from um Adriana Papel. Again, this is all available on Amazon. It does have a slit, so it's kind of sexy. And I like that it's a gown. Like, it's a longer dress versus a shorter cut. So you get that, like, glamorous to the floor feeling. But you still get that slit to be like, hello, boys. It's Christmas. There's mistletoe. You know what to do. Or it's New Year's. It's midnight. You know what to do. Whatever the situation where you want a tall, dark, handsome man or a sassy lady or a gender neutral person to just get up all on you and be like, yes, queen, Mwah! this is the dress to wear. Though, they should first ask your permission because 
it ain't cool just to like get up in somebody's business. Consent is key. I feel like this has been your PSA and a beautiful dress. So when I first saw this dress, I was very confused by all the pieces and parts to it. There's like a lot of different straps and holes, but on, this is a freaking stunning dress. Like I wish I had like a gala or like a benefit to go to because this is probably one of the most beautiful dresses I've had on my body. Like I feel luxe, I feel gorgeous, but I still feel covered up. Like it's a very powerful, beautiful dress. This dress I found by accident and I've fallen in love. It comes in a variety of ombre colors. I don't know if I made the right choice in color. It's teal and then ombres down to a navy. So pretty, right? But they also had one that was burgundy that ombre down to a gold and burgundy that ombre down to a black. There were like a lot of different options and I was really torn and I felt like, okay, I already have two red dresses. I should literally try to get something more blue. So I got this one, which is gorgeous. Love it, looks great on me. But in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking like, did I make the right choice? This dress is amazingly constructed, really great price. I was nervous because it's not from a seller I've ever heard of, but it's really well made. It's got a velvet top up here, and this is a stretch sequence. So even if you're a little bit curvier in the booty and the thighs, like your girl, it's gonna stretch to accommodate. It's also a midi length, which is just like a really popular in style length. Really like great looking cut on a lot of different bodies. It's just beautiful and comfortable and soft, and it's lined so these sequins don't itch you at all. It's got this nice like stretchy comfort lining underneath. This dress is just a home run. And again, my only regret is like, did I make the right color choice? I don't know, I still don't know. So super comfortable dress, two complaints. There are some loose strings I can feel, and also the zipper, not the highest quality. But given this is probably a dress you're not gonna wear that often, these are not life-changing, uh, terrible things about the dress. Overall, for its price point, it's still freaking fantastic. Like seriously, I had to kind of like dig a little bit to say something negative because look at me in this. A bada boo. The last dress is probably one of my favorites just because if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I love velour. Love, love, love. And so I'd be remiss if I didn't have like a full velour dress, which is what I have from a brand called Standard and Practices. I like this because it's a standard midi length red velvet dress, more of like a burgundy, and it has a really different neckline. So we have this one spaghetti strap here and a thicker strap here. So it's just a little bit of visual interest. Then it comes down to bodycon, and then it's just a midi length with a back slit. It's simple, but it's elegant, and I just love this. This is a dress you can have in your wardrobe for years and years. You can dress up, you can dress down, you can layer, and you can really wear it for a lot of different occasions and still look freaking fantastic, which I am here for. I absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite things in this haul because of how versatile it is and how rich and lovely this velvet color is. I feel so glamorous in this dress. I love it! <laughs> Also, it's stretchy, so you know I can like fully dance in it. No problems. <laughs> now it's time to talk shoes. I'll be honest, I got a bunch of shoes and I'm just gonna show them to you. Like I don't know how to do shoes right. I know you guys wanna see them on my feet, but I feel like that's, it's weird. It's weird to be like in my feet, like dancing around. Like here's my happy feet in these shoes. Here's my happy feet in those shoes. It's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. But what's a girl to do? So let's show you the shoes. So this is our first pair of shoes. They are a gunmetal color. And they're really, really shiny when you get them. They didn't look this shiny on site. But I actually love how shiny they are. And why I picked these is they have these really amazing pearl details in the heel that I just fell in love with. Now, I haven't worn these specific shoes before, but I've worn shoes from the same brand, so I'm pretty comfortable that these are gonna fit me and fit well. Um, they have a little ankle strap here. Again, I know that 
given my past experience with a brand that that's gonna be big enough for my ankle. And I just, I love these. I think they are so cute, so fun, and so different. I haven't seen a pearl inset heel before. Look, you can imagine my feet walking in them right now. Yay. You're, you're gonna notice a theme with the next two pairs of shoes. And it's because in the olden times, I was a little bit of a punk. I actually had a mohawk. Here's visual evidence of said hair. It's true, this is what I used to look like. I don't even believe it myself. I used to wear like paisley print pants and Sid Vicious t-shirts on my hair up in a mohawk and I thought I was cool. Just for the record, I was not cool. So, um, I saw these, I think they were served to me. Like, you know how Amazon's like, things you might like. That little things you might like tool like knows me. It has got me clocked. It knows exactly what I wanted because it showed me these. It combines three of my favorite things. Comfortable shoes, velvet, and slight punk details. I mean, how fantastic are these loafers? Oh, they're so, like, they make me feel so much like a boss. Like, you would, like, if someone walks into the room wearing these shoes, you take them seriously. You listen to them because they've got important, smart, expensive things to say. They were not expensive. And I'm like, should I get them in another color? Oh, they just make me feel so cool. Look at those toes. You don't want to get your butt kicked by that. Step off, unwanted male attention. Because this would really hurt. Like, if you got kicked in the butt with one of these, this would really hurt. These are some don't mess with me shoes. But you know what are some real don't mess with me shoes? If you want to really say, like, step off, I run this room, then you need these shoes. Because you've got 360 spike action and a slight heel. Because you're not dumb enough to wear a high heel. That stuff's uncomfortable. But you still want to know that you are elevated above the competition. Look at those. Are those amazing or what? Again, you don't want to be kicked by one of these. You're going to step off. When this woman enters the room, you're going to be like, what is that magic? That magic is attitude. Sass, intelligent, wit, and a super cool spiky shoe. Come at me, bro. Our last pair of shoes are less fantastical and more just practical. I've had these in another haul. I know I have. But I wear them so dang often that I feel I need to re-elevate them. I need to reintroduce them to you. These are some, like, standard little booties from a brand called Toto's. These things are so dang comfortable. I wear them in shoots all the time. I wear them out all the time. They are the most comfortable heeled booty ever. They are not expensive. And I felt like if I didn't bring these up again, I was doing my audience a disservice because I literally will turn to Riley, who is my intern, 95% of the time and be like, yo girl, these boots really are amazing. And we talk about these silly boots all the time because they really are such a great bargain. And I just wanted to show them to you guys again. Now, one of the things I get from Amazon um, probably the most I'm not showing in this haul, which is hair accessories, like this lovely headband right here. I buy tons and tons of hair and jewelry from Amazon. It is an amazing place, but it's a very difficult thing to film well. So I am just going to put a link to all of my favorites down below. Um, it's going to be more of my more recent favorites. It's not just a mass list of everything I've ever bought, but it's like about 20 items that I really like right now. Most of them you will probably already have seen me wear. Let me know if you guys like this or if you actually want me to walk through each of the items in the future. Um, I'm only putting things down there that I use and love regularly because I'm not actually showing you them on camera. So, whoa. That was a really big haul. This is a, Amazon hauls are always intense because I get a lot of stuff from Amazon. Um, let me know what you thought. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Links to everything are down below. Another little reminder, if you have not subscribed to your girl, I would appreciate a little clicky click on that subscribe button. With that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later, and peace.